Hi, my name is Dr. Shruti Sharma and today we are diving deep into a concept that's shaking up international trade and climate policy. The Carbon Border Adjustment Mechanism or CBAM and what it means for India. We will also break down how the CBAM is calculated for products entering the EU and what you need to know to stay ahead of the curve. So let's get started. So what exactly is Carbon Border Adjustment Mechanism? Introduced by the European Union, CBAM is a landmark policy designed to tackle carbon leakage, a situation where companies move production to countries with less stringent climate regulations to avoid higher carbon co costs. CBAM aims to level the playing field by imposing a carbon tax on imports based on their carbon footprint. So essentially, if you're a company exporting goods to the EU, you will need to pay for the carbon emission associated with those goods. This ensures that imports are subject to the same carbon costs as products produced within the EU. Now, how does CBAM work? CBAM is set to be implemented in phases beginning in 2026. And this will initially cover carbon intensive sectors like steel, cement, aluminium, fertilizers, electricity and hydrogen. Exporters to the EU will have to buy CBAM certificates corresponding to the amount of carbon emissions embedded in their products. Now this means that the higher the carbon content of a product, the more expensive it will be to export to the EU. EU's message is clear, decarbonize or pay a price. Now CBAM is a part of the EU strategies to reduce carbon emissions and prevent carbon leakage. Essentially, CBAM imposes a carbon price on imports from countries that don't have equivalent carbon pricing mechanisms. But how exactly is it calculated? Now, CBAM calculation involves multiple steps, including determining the embedded carbon emissions of the imported product, applying the EU Emission Trading System, ETS, carbon price, and accounting for any carbon cost already paid in the country of origin. Now, let's break this calculation of CBAM step by step. Now, to calculate the CBAM cost for an imported product, we need to consider three main components. The first step is to determine the embedded carbon emissions of the imported product. This refers to the total greenhouse gas emissions, which is measured in the tons of carbon dioxide equivalent produced during the manufacturing process of the product. For example, if you're importing steel, you need to calculate the carbon footprint based on the energy used, which is the type of energy which can be coal, gas or renewable, and the efficiency of the production process. The calculation often requires data on the production processes from the exporter. Now, if precise data is unavailable, the EU uses default values based on benchmark emissions for that sector. Now, next, we apply the carbon price set by the EU's Emission Trading System, ETS. Now, the ETS sets a market price for carbon based on supply and demand for emission and allowances within the EU. For example, if the current ETS carbon price is 100 euro per ton of carbon dioxide equivalent and the imported product has 10, 10 tons of embedded carbon dioxide equivalent, the preliminary CBAM cost then would be 1000 euros. The third step is to adjust for any carbon cost already paid in the country of origin. Now, if, if the exporting country already has a carbon pricing mechanism or taxes in place, the CBAM is adjusted to, the, to avoid double charging. Now, for instance, if the exporting country charges 40 euros per ton of carbon dioxide equivalent, you would subtract that from the EU ETS price. Now, using our previous example, this means the adjusted CBAM cost is now 600 euros 
after accounting for carbon cost which is already being paid. Now to summarize, let's walk you through a quick example. Now consider the product as steel. Embedded carbon emission would be 20 tons of carbon dioxide equivalent. Now EU ETS price will be 90 euro per ton. So the carbon price based in the exporting country is 30 euros per ton. So the calculation would be 20 tons of carbon dioxide equivalent multiplied by 90 euro minus 30 euro per ton which is 60 per ton carbon dioxide equivalent per ton which is 1200 euros per ton. Understanding the CBAM calculation is crucial for businesses exporting to EU. It encourages companies to adopt greener practices and align with global sustainability goals. For exporters, it's important to accurately calculate and report emissions, invest in cleaner technologies and engage with policymakers to ensure fair transition. The CBAM is more than just a tax. It's a part of the global push towards decarbonization and sustainable trade practices. Now let's talk about India. As a rapidly growing economy and a major exporter to the European Union, India stands to be significantly impacted by CBAM. India is the world's second largest steel producer and a significant player in global aluminium market. The EU is one of India's largest trading partners and several sectors will face increased costs if they don't reduce their carbon footprint. Now this could impact competitiveness, especially for smaller firms that might not have the resources to invest in green technologies. The introduction of CBAN poses both challenges and opportunities for India. Indian exporters will face additional cost and compliance burdens. The need for substantial investments in cleaner technologies, improved energy efficiency and sustainable practices will be very crucial. On the flip side, CBAP could accelerate India's transition to a low carbon economy. By investing in green technologies and renewable energy, India can position itself as a sustainable and resilient exporter. Moreover, this could attract climate finance and technological collaborations, especially in areas like green hydrogen, solar energy and carbon capture. The Indian government and industry stakeholders need to adopt a proactive approach to tackle the impacts of CBAM. This includes crafting a robust domestic carbon policy, creating incentives for cleaner production, and enhancing international cooperation on climate-friendly trade policies. Additionally, India could negotiate with the EU for technical and financial support in decarbonizing key sectors. Establishing clear carbon pricing mechanisms and standards for emission measurement and reporting will be very essential. CBAM is more than just a policy. It's a wake-up call for the global economy. For India, it represents both a challenge and a catalyst for change. Now, how India navigates this will not only define the trade relations with the EU, but also its role in the global transition towards a low-carbon economy. To summarize, the road ahead requires a balanced approach that aligns trade sustainability and policy measures. It's time to ch turn challenges into opportunities. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more updates on global sustainability trends and policies. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about CBAM and its implication for India? Until next time, stay informed and stay sustainable.